CES 2016 with one of my favorite parts of the show. We're near the end of it. We get together with the coolest uh, laptops and computers at CES. Joining me the, for the first time this year, in all the years we've been doing this, is my new best buddy, Sean Hollister. Sean, we've seen some very exciting computers here, haven't we? Yes, yes, some excellent new laptops and computers here. Well, I'm going to start off with what I think my favorite trend is, because it's all about trends. It's not about individual products, although we like products. It's about trends. And I love seeing OLED screens on laptops. Uh, we've seen OLED in TVs for years now. Always super impressive, but super expensive. I still can't afford one. I'm hoping maybe next year. But for now, I can get OLED in a laptop. The first one I saw was this guy. This is the uh, ThinkPad X1 Yoga from Lenovo. And you know, Lenovo makes a lot of yoga systems, so this ThinkPad version uh, of the Yoga has an OLED screen, super bright, and if you put it next to a regular screen, you can really tell the difference. And of course, because it's a yoga, it folds back, and what I love about the ThinkPads is that the keyboard goes down like this and goes flat when you fold it over, as opposed to the regular yogas where uh, the keyboard stays up and inactive. But the real selling point here is this, is this gorgeous screen. And when I saw this early this week, I was just blown away. I said, that's it. There's no laptop at CES that could possibly look better. <laughs> but I was that's wrong. what you thought at first. Because it turns out there are even more OLED laptops here at CES. You saw the next one. It's a one. big trend. Uh, tell me what this guy is right here. Right here we've got the new Alienware 13 OLED laptop. We've got a gaming machine, finally with an OLED screen. You get that quick response time we've been lacking in games. So when you've got your video game characters running across the screen, it looks like you're looking through a window at them. It doesn't, they, the characters don't smear across the screen. And finally. this looks like the standard Alienware 13 they've been making for a while. Same they just finally up. figured out how to get an OLED screen into it and not much jack up the price screen. too, too much, hopefully. It's going to be the same price as their regular high definition screen. You get this OLED upgrade for free. That is awesome, and I love how that looks. And this is one of the few small 13 inch gaming laptops you can even get. It's a pretty small category, although, I guess Although. it's growing because, look at that, here's another one. Let's do this, and absolutely. I always, uh, I always like to see what Razer has design-wise because they really push the boundaries there. So show me what that guy is. This Razer Blade Stealth, not only does this laptop have this crazy keyboard here that lights up right, individually, the keyboard, all these okay. different colors. Okay, it's super thin. It's $999 for mm -hmm. Core i7 and eight gigabytes of memory. Lots of premium components and build quality here, and, and, and hold that for a moment. Because it's so thin, I can't imagine you can get a big graphics card in here. You can't get it in there, but you pull out this uh -oh. box, the Razer Core, with a giant desktop graphics Tell card in there. Is. This is great. Okay, this, so this is, is great. basically just a box, and you put a, a desktop GPU in this. Desktop and you plug GPU it into in the here. Razer. You plug it into the Razer with this single cable. I'll just okay. yank this over here. And is that single USB -C? cable, USB C. Okay. This is the new USB C standard. This cable is going to charge the laptop. It's going to give it the power of this full graphics oh, card to that. play games. The lights on and everything. Lights this is a good up. demo. I like when the lights go on. It's beautiful. And data, at the same time, you got USB ports back here so you can plug in all your peripherals. Mm -hmm. You put in this single cable, you get your whole desktop gaming setup. Now, does this setup. come together or you buy this and then you can buy this separately? You got to buy this and that separately. We don't even know how much this costs okay. yet for the box. And it doesn't come with a graphics card. You got to buy your own no, graphics you put card. put your own graphics card in there. Another 200, uh, it's going to be some money for that. Dollars. Okay. Yep, absolutely. But a nice way to get gaming and then also super portability. I like that. I'm going to put this down here before I break my yes. hand with it. Nice big aluminum box, but the laptop, inexpensive for the premium components oh, you yeah. get here. No, I always Looks like the great. design, I always like what they do. I never really, uh, I've never really drunk the Kool-Aid on, on the flashy lights uh, <laughs> under the keyboard, but maybe that's because I'm not into sort of the dorm room aesthetic. I want something a little more sophisticated. I have uh, what I think is the only laptop that really competes uh, feel and design-wise with what I'm using right here for taking notes. That's that 12-inch uh, mm -hmm. MacBook from Apple. Yep. And that's this guy. This is the um, HP EliteBook Folio G1, oh, and yeah. it's super thin, super light, 12.5 inch screen. You can get up to a 4K screen on this, which you can't get on, on, on the 12 inch MacBook. And you can see it really feels very similar. And you've discovered the secret feature right there. That's a 180 degree uh, screen. I always complain when laptop screens don't go back far enough. So this goes totally flat like this. I guess you could lay it down on the table if you want. Let's do it. And like that MacBook, it actually runs It actually runs Intel Core M, that second generation Core M. That's the other theme we're seeing here this week. 
a lot of companies are going all in on that second gen core M where maybe the first gen, only a handful of people did. So what makes these laptops so thin? You don't have to have they a fan, fan inside lift. them. Yep. With when you got Core M inside, you don't have to have And we're going to have to do more testing in our CNET labs to see if that uh, Core M chip really stands up, because the first generation you know, didn't quite give us the performance and the battery life we wanted, uh, but I think there's so many people here at CES this week uh, betting on Core M that, that I, I, I suspect it'll be, it'll be pretty good. I love the touchpad and keyboard on oh, this yeah. one too. For something this thin, it's impressive. And a little diamond cut detail right there around the, oh, yeah. around, the, around the touchpad. So I like this one a lot, and you have another really cool super slim design that I like a lot. If you want to go really, really thin, the Galaxy Tab Pro S, this Samsung tablet right here. Sorry, I, I spoiled the surprise. It's a tablet, like a Microsoft Surface. This thing hooks right into this magnetic keyboard folio, mm -hmm. and you just pop it right up there. I love how the keyboard magnetically just pops into now, place. Now, it's a Windows system, Windows but it's got system. the Galaxy Tab name, which was previously Android, right? So thin, because they're designing it like those Android tablets. Mm -hmm. So thin, and you just pop it right in there. The other neat thing about this, the reason that the Galaxy makes a big difference here, okay. you take a Galaxy phone, you pop it right here onto the keyboard, okay. It pairs wirelessly, right. and you could read all of your text messages from your phone, sure. even reply to them and on the Samsung screen. And Samsung's had that on some systems for years where you get the little uh, pop-up that shows the screen for Android phone. systems, sure, but yeah. now you got it on Windows. You're doing some oh, real work right. on your okay. Windows computer. You pop your phone on there. Now you don't have to worry about pulling your phone out of your pocket to get those messages. Now, if I buy this guy, I just want to take a look at the tablet for me. Absolutely, so pull first, it right this off. This is the first time I'm really getting a chance to play with this. Does this come with, with the keyboard? It does. It does, because a lot of times you get something like a Surface Pro, uh, you buy the Surface Pro, and then you spend another, whatever it is, $130 on the keyboard, yeah. and it starts to add up. So I yeah. like it when people package stuff. Um, that looks like a nice keyboard. It's it not bad at all. I mean, it's thin. Oh, it's thin, magnetic. but like if you like the 12-inch MacBook, you're using a 12-inch mm -hmm. MacBook, it's pretty thin. This feels pretty good, too. I don't know about the touchpad. It's a little smaller, but that's keyboard. Okay. Bundled. Excellent. I just don't know what it costs yet. Also, Probably we're talking about OLED screen treads. This is another OLED screen. Oh, okay. 12.5 inch OLED screen, just like Samsung smartphones and tablets. Now you get it in a Windows I computer. I don't think I'm going to get to the holiday season without everybody I know wanting an OLED screen laptop. I, I definitely, I have got to have one in my next laptop. Now I know you, you, you have one, you have another thing back there that's not on our list, but you said, hey, here's a cool surprise. I thought we should bring this into. This is the Samsung Notebook 9. Okay. 13 inch Notebook 9. And the claim to fame here is this thing is so, so light. Under two pounds. I think it's 1.85 pounds. That's a sort of curved pounds curved design laptop. they've had for years. Ago. We first saw here at CES several years ago that everybody really liked. It kind of kicked off the whole Ultrabook design. Yeah. Thing. It was really one of the first ones to fall into that category. Can I feel that, actually? Absolutely. Oh, that's nice, too. Hold that right there. Give it a heft. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's so light. You can take the 15-inch one and the 13-inch one, lift them in one hand. Okay. Two laptops, one hand. That's how light. It's been a long week. I might need two hands. <laughs> that is cool. I like that right. a lot. Wow, that really is light. So we're going to move from super expensive, super fancy, and let's start talking about some less expensive stuff that Absolutely. we have. Because you know what? My favorite laptops are always the budget laptops because I like to see what you can do with the least amount of money possible. And the, the one, of, one of the coolest trends that I've seen on that front is the rise of, of what we call the $200 laptop. Yes. And HP uh, uh, had one, uh, the Stream 11, and uh, Lenovo has one, and a couple other companies do. Now Dell has one, and this is called the Inspiron 11, 11 3000. Okay. Inspiron 11 3000. And it's 199. 199. And it's full Windows 10. And it's got a reasonably decent keyboard and touchpad. It's got obviously an 11.6 inch uh, screen. Uh, and it runs, I think, a Celeron, I'm guessing. Yep. Celeron okay. processor, a couple gigabytes of memory. And here's the thing. Unlike those netbooks of many years ago that were very inexpensive but didn't really run well, uh, this new generation of $200 laptops, you know what, for surfing the web, going online, email, shopping, social media, they're fine. And most importantly, things like streaming Netflix or streaming HD video from YouTube, they also work well. And that's, I think, 90% of what people do with their computers. It works. So if you can get away with that, Great it works. for kids, great for traveling. I would say if you leave one in the back of a taxi, it's not the end of the world. It used to be you could pay $400 for a cheap laptop and it wouldn't have a good keyboard, it wouldn't have right. a good touchpad, it, really it wouldn't do bar. basic tasks. Now you're paying $199 for something that's, you know, it, it's plasticky, it's like a little bit of a sure. kid's colors here, but it feels good enough to do all right, of your you daily activities. You have to cover the fact that it's kind of plastic by making it pop a little bit, and these cool colors are awesome. And of course, if you want to spend a little bit more, they've got all kinds of color-coded accessories that go with it. I think we have another color over here, right? Yeah, we've got the white here. we got here, the white nice with the red sleeve. Nice, white, the okay. red sleeve on it. I like it that, I like that. It comes in a nice red as well. 
several different colors. So if you want to make your laptop really pop, so for like six hundred bucks, bucks, you can get a whole rainbow bucks. of them and hand them out uh, <laughs> as, as stocking stuffers. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, one of, my, one of my other favorite cheap laptops, not cheap laptops, cheap desktops, is something that we saw here for the first time exactly one year ago yes. at CES 2015. That was the Intel Compute Stick, a tiny little thing that looked like a chunky USB key. Uh, you plugged into any TV, any monitor, and it turned it into you know, a low-level but functional computer. Well, guess what? We're here again, and this is the next generation, right the generation of two of the Intel Compute Stick, uh, and they've made a couple of changes uh, that actually fix some of the, the problems we have with the first mm -hmm. generation. Number one, Instead of one uh, USB port, now we've got two. One USB 3, one USB 2. So if you have a dongle for a wireless mouse and one for a wireless keyboard or something like that, you're not stuck. Although you should frankly just use Bluetooth and save the ports for something else. Uh, and of course, here's the, here is the HDMI connection right here at the top. Uh, it's got 802.11 AC Wi-Fi as supposed to end last year because people complained it wasn't very fast at downloading stuff. And the Atom processor inside, it's not great. Uh, it's Cherry Trail instead of, the, uh, instead of the older version in last year's. But you know what? Retail price is going to be about $159. And then here's the big secret. Later this year, Intel is going to have something that looks same size, same dimensions. It's going to have Core M3 and Core M5. Okay. And that's much more mainstream performance there. But that for just, sounds good to me. You know, traveling somewhere and you have your presentations on this, you plug it into, let's say, a TV in a conference room, you know, you're ready to go, and then you take it with you. All your files are on there, are on there securely. Like a USB key, but now it's the entire computer. And we've seen a few of these this year, uh, this past year, and I think we're going to see more. And I like it, and I think we have time for probably one more system. This is the, fir this is the first, Sean. In all the years we have been doing this coolest computers at CES show, I do not believe we have ever brought a desktop up here, a standard really? desktop. The compute stick kind of counts, I guess. But, but I, I thought this was so funky, I said, we got to bring a desktop up here. Please pass me that, 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 that tower over there, that little, that little triangular thing. This is the Lenovo Idea Center 610S. Okay, it looks like a lot of the living room centric uh, media PCs uh, that we've seen, like the Acer Revo 1. Uh, you could basically you know, plug it into your TV if you want, uh, store all your stuff on there. Yeah. Looks almost like a security cam or like a router, and that's fine. The big secret here is, hold this up for me, Absolutely. and I'm going to get the surprise for it. It comes with this guy, which is a projector, a 720p, I think it's 220 lumens projector, and it snaps right on top there, it magnetically connects. Uh, you need a power cable for this, you do need a power cable for the projector part also, but they do not need to be connected to each other. You can actually take this and they will ah. communicate wirelessly and you can just have the projector and point it anywhere and turn any uh, you know, room into like a mini projection theater. And for something that's kind of a little uh, portable media home theater PC, I think that is super cool. And then you just stack it on there like that. To think that this is what a desktop looks I like think this in whole 2016. package here with the projector, I think it's about 850 bucks. And you can even get some you know, fairly mid-level graphics with it if you want. So, so that is uh, worthy of being, I think, the first uh, uh, tabletop desktop that we have brought in here in all the years that we have been doing, we have been doing this show. That's a lot of computers to go through, Sean. Quite and a I few. Think we've seen some big trends here: OLED, uh, super slim, uh, gaming stuff, external gaming external cards, graphics. Uh, I, I shudder to think what we're going to see when we come back here next year. Everybody's going to be OLED. I just don't know how I'm going to pick my next computer. I can only you buy one of them at a time, right? Just use it for 30 days, send it back, and get another one. <laughs> All right, Sean, thank you for joining me uh, uh, for your first time here co-hosting this coolest computer show. Uh, Thanks it's been for great over me. here. And uh, we are going to wrap it up right now. So I'm Dan Ackerman, I've been Sean Hollister. Thanks for joining us for our coolest computers at CES presentation. Thanks a lot.